Well, hello, Virgo, and welcome to your horoscopes of Virgo. <clears throat> Aries time rules your eighth house. And so what we know about the eighth house is, you know, people generalize it as transformation. I mean, boy, is that a loaded word. But what I would say is that it deals with birth, sex, and death. Things that we like to keep hidden in our culture. The other thing is, is other hidden stuff, hidden knowledge like occult knowledge. You don't think some of the largest corporations engage in occultic rituals to keep their power? Woo! They do. You know, they, they cover all their bases. Um, I think... The thing is, is that it is the light, it is the sun that melts the light, the ice, you know. So if you're in the light, you're in the warmth. If you're in the dark, you're in the cold. And the light can penetrate the darkness, but darkness cannot penetrate the light. And the light is growing, and you're in a place of good fortune, and, um, but the deal is, is that you got to do your spiritual work. You got to do your discipline. You got to do your ritual. And the other thing is, is that this, the eighth house is opposite to the second. We say that's other people's property. And so what you got to do is allow other people to have their property. Allow other people to have their power. Don't try and be a control freak, Virgo. You know, because this is how you sabotage yourself right now. Don't do that. But what I want you to do is allow them to have it. And then ask for help. I know you're so independent, you hate doing this, but ask for help because you know what? You bless other people when you allow them to bless you. So you got to take that, you know, and say, you know, I could really use a hand right now. All right, this would feel good. You know, maybe you know, sometimes you're in a crisis and you say, well, this isn't the real me. I'm more like this. And then so we adjust it. We make it better for all.